Fox 5 News. Tonight, more shakeups for the FAA. Three top managers in the nation's air traffic control system were replaced and reassigned today. Now, the move. Transportation and Infrastructure Committee joins me tonight. Congressman, thanks for being here. Good to be with you. Clearly, we know there's a problem. Do you think just the reassignment of three top managers and the firing of a handful of controllers is a real solution? Well, I think some of that may help, but um, I think you have a much more fundamental problem with FAA. You know, the Congress uh, hasn't passed an authorization or policy bill in some four years. They've done 18 extensions. Uh, we've had a long period of time without an administrator, and then we've had just so many incidents, more than just sleeping on the job. You saw the uh, large aircraft, the uh, Airbus 380, uh, hit a commuter plane, twirl it around. You've seen uh, air, uh, air traffic controllers lock themselves out, uh, be on a cell phone, watching DVDs, uh, near miss with the first lady's uh, a plane. Uh, these, th this is symptomatic of uh, bigger problems. And, and when you say symptomatic of bigger problems, I mean, what is your committee doing? What's the next mm -hmm. move? I know you said this bill has not moved forward yet. Well, well what is the solution yeah. here? Well, Congress has uh, been out. Uh, we're trying to pass um, uh, legislation for the first time in more than four years, 18 extensions, as I said. Uh, trying to give the tools to FAA to do a better job. Some of uh, uh, some of this requires a different uh, approach, and you just can't uh, point a study group. Uh, we've had studies before. We're going to take uh, get, need to take some action. They have taken some the reassignment of managers, uh, the zero tolerancing tolerance, uh, firing some folks. Uh, uh, it's going to take much more, I think, and some fundamental changes in policy. Let me ask you about some of those policy changes. We know one solution to those sleepy controllers, FAA Administrator Randy Babbitt ordered mm -hmm. a second controller be yeah. added to those overnight shifts at 27 airports, including Reagan National. Mm -hmm. The controllers union suggested allowing naps for people working mm -hmm. those overnight shifts, but the FAA Administrator, Transportation Secretary, squashed the idea. What do you think of well, allowing the naps? <laughs> well, to, only in the federal government would you... Uh, add another person at $163,000 average salary uh, to make up for someone who's falling asleep on the job. That's not the solution. So, um, and I don't think naps. Uh, uh, the fellow was well experienced that fell asleep at Reagan. Uh, had only been on the job uh, less than two hours. His, uh, his uh, working colleague left at uh, uh, 10.28. He only had to stay awake an hour and 32 minutes. Uh, uh, they, they can't uh, tolerate this uh, type of poor performance. So I think we've got to have better policy in place, better management in place, uh, and then recurrent training. Many of these are experienced uh, uh, air traffic controllers and personnel. We've got good people, managers and air traffic controllers, but there's some, uh, uh, some poor performers. And, uh, we need to make some changes. Well, certainly, I know the flying public, we all hope, because mm -hmm. we all want to be safe when we're in the skies, hope that uh, <laughs> uh, the Transportation Secretary and you guys will keep working to find solutions to get this problem solved. Very important. You're oh. right. Thank all right. You. Congressman John Micah, thanks for coming in tonight.